Now that we've reviewed microphone placement options and the importance of phase as it relates to the overall sound of the acoustic grand, let's record. The question is, are mic preamps a good idea? Well, let me just rephrase that. A microphone preamp is a preamplifier used to increase the mic's low output voltage to a stronger, more usable line level to record. Therefore, it's necessary to have a mic preamp to record. So the real question is, is it important to choose the right preamp whereas to affect the quality of record? Well, absolutely. The trained ear can hear the difference between a cheap, dull mic pre and Class A Pro mic preamplifiers. It's important to realize that a quality mic pre colors the sound, eliminating that dull and lifeless timbre that some cheap audio interface mic pre's can produce. Many engineers have different preferences for using certain mic preamps on specific signals to record. One preamp may noticeably add warmth to low frequency signal, whereas another preamp may add a glassy effect to high frequency content. Standalone mic pre's like the Manly Slam are popular for professional quality recordings. SLAM actually stands for Stereo Limiter and Mic Preamp. Not only is it a mic pre times two, but also a limiter times two, something we'll be reviewing later. For the Dave Brubeck solo grand piano recording, I fed the high strings mic, the AKG C414, and the low strings mic, the PL20 by Electrovoice, into two separate channels in the Manly SLAM, directly to the sequencer. The other six microphones were routed into an analog soundtracks console to use its stock European preamps for its coloration contribution. 